Hello guys and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a combat tag plugin. The function of this plugin is to prevent players from teleporting whenever they are in combat so that whenever players are PvPing they can't teleport away or teleport teammates to them. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to be creating a listener to listen to the entity damage by entity event. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that the entity getting damaged and the entity that is doing the damaging are both instances of players. Alright, so now we need to actually add these players to some sort of list that will keep track of the players that are currently in combat. So in order to do this, I'm going to be defining a hash map up here as a global variable. And this hash map is going to contain the unique IDs of any players that are currently in combat. And we are going to initialize this inside of our on enable. Now that we have a hash map that's going to contain the unique IDs of all the players that are currently in combat, as well as their combat timer, we can go ahead and add these players down here inside of our on damage event to that list. But before we do that, we need to create two variables, one for the entity getting damaged and one for the player that is damaging. Now that we have this, we can go ahead and add these two players to our list. For testing purposes, I'm going to use a duration of five seconds. And then we want to send these two players messages telling them that they are now in combat. Now that we added both of these players to our combat list, we can go ahead and set up the runnable that's going to be keeping track of how much time has passed. We're going to do this inside of our on enable because we want this timer to start running whenever the server starts up. So I'm going to create a new bucket runnable. And we're going to implement the method run. And then I'm actually going to create another method inside of whatever class you're doing this in. For me, it's my main class, and I'm going to name this method on interval. So every single interval, this method will run. So we can go ahead and add this right in here inside of our run method. And then we want to run this task every 20 ticks, which is also one second. Inside of this interval method, we want to loop through all of the players that are currently inside of our combat list hash map. Now we want to make sure that the player is still in combat, and if they are no longer in combat, aka the timer is zero, we want to remove them from this list. So since we are looping through this list currently, we cannot modify it at the same time or else we will run into an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and create a temporary hash map that is identical to the one we just made up here inside of our on interval method and I'm going to name this temp and now we can add these players that are still in combat to this hash map and then set this hash map to be combat list when we are done looping through it and then after we are done looping through all of the players inside of our combat list we want to set the combat list that we defined right here so our temp list to our actual combat list that's defined globally And we're almost done now. The last thing we need to do is cancel any teleportation commands that the player sends whenever they send them if they are inside of this list. So we're going to be creating one more listener here and we are going to be listening for the command preprocess event. And the first thing we're going to do in this method is make sure that the player is inside of our combat list because if not they can execute the commands as normally. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a list of strings that's going to contain all the commands that we want to block. Now what we want to do is extract the command from the message that the player sent. So I'm going to create an array of strings and I'm going to name this part, or parts rather, and we're going to get the message and we're going to split at every single space. So every single argument will be a new part. And I'm going to create a variable that's going to represent the command, and since you always type the command first, it's going to be the first part in that array. And of course, we're going to convert this to a lowercase so it is compatible whenever we check it with these commands. And then the last thing we want to do is check to see if this commands list contains the command. And if it does contain the command, we are going to cancel the event. And we're going to send the player a message letting them know that the command was blocked. Now that all our code is done, I'm going to go ahead and hop in game here and see if it works. Don't forget to add the events handler tag to your event. 
Alright, and as you can see in the console down here, our plugin has started up, and we have a chicken sandwich versus beans. Who will win? As you can see, whenever we damage a player, we get the message, you are now in combat, and then after five seconds, we didn't set it so it would send them a message letting them know that they're out of combat. But if I type slash spawn, you can see I don't have any plugin installed that actually has that command. But you can see it tried to run it, and if we do that again and type spawn really quickly, it will say command blocked. Anyways guys, that is all for today. If you ran into any issues, I have a link down in the description to my Discord server. Feel free to come and ask any questions you have over there. And that is all for today. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Nice! The mutt's nuts, in fact.